Oh, okay. Now I hope uh, uh, you are not view, uh, hearing the echoes. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, is it comfortable now? Yes, sir. You would have told me earlier. Anyway, next time I'll keep this in my mind. Uh, I'm starting my uh, screen share. So I hope you are uh, viewing my screen as well. Now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great, great. Okay, so the story which is started in uh, the freshwater. Freshwater is not so deep and they have started uh, to photosynthesize. So let me quote photosynthesis here. So those organisms which are in zone C have started the photosynthesis. See, organisms which are there in part B, that is slightly water, they also wish that So they also wish to, uh, to start the process of photosynthesis. But the thing is that they are deep, deeper than part C. So sunlight is sometimes unable to reach to their floor. So they need to grow by their length. Point samajana. Must the point to understand. So they need to grow more. <clears throat> so unicellular turned into multicellular. To increase the height. So slightly salty water have the other type of the algae. <clears throat> the algae which is found in part C is green colored algae. It is called chlorophyce. Part B is other kind of algae which are not green in color because they have different types of the photosynthetic pigment, not chlorophyll only, but they have more than chlorophyll. So they are brown in color. So brown algae, they are commonly known as pheophyce. Pheophyce. Or in common name, they are brown algae. Then part A also wish that we start karte photosynthesis. What is our fault? If we can do it, why not us? They have grown even bigger than them. And they develop more number of the photosynthetic pigment. And they turned red in color. Ready? So red algae have been formed. Which are very giant by their size. <clears throat> so this kind of from microorganism, micro algae to giant plant like algae. They are found now around us in all the types of water bodies but thing is that they are only find or they are adapted to live in water so live in water is the basic phenomena basic required requirement is uh, found with the algae algae when they are found into the fresh water they are reaching near to or around the uh, what you can say land and they wish organism wish to go on land point samajna usko land pe jana hai salty to slight salty slight salty to fresh water and fresh water to again they want to spread on the land now on land there is no water around so they do not absorb the things around us, around them, sorry. But there are few nutrients 
which are buried in the soil they can absorb them but for that they requires a special part now which is the important part of the plant which can absorb nutrient from the soil who can answer roots good that is why they required roots ready so evolution of root comes like this this is a way root have been evolved i taught you the entire process of evolution of root the requirement of the root which is found by organism in order to absorb nutrients and water from the soil and i hope it is very clear into your mind that why and for which reason root are important for plants is it clear now yes sir yes sir very great now you are not supposed to forget these phenomena in process of evolution from your mind ready yes or no yes sir yes sir great you need, need not to mug aapko mug karne ki zarurat nahi hai you will remember it automatically because it is it is taught you with a particular story type of narration i told you the story actually and that story will be remembered definitely wo sharukh khan ki movie ki tarah hai it will be easily remembered by you i hope aapko samajh mein aa raha hai yes sir <laughs> great fine so shall i erase these which is uh, given there in uh, in front of you uh, मुझे क्या प्रॉब्लम है रीस्टार्ट इनटू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड फाइन सो लेट अस गो टू द रूट नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद आवर ऑन टॉपिक फाइन रूट इज अंडरग्राउंड व्हाई इट इज अंडरग्राउंड वी हैव गोन थ्रू नाउ थ्री वर्ड्स व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड इथ विथ द रूट सिस्टम इज नंबर 1 दे आर पॉजिटिवली जियोट्रोपिक नंबर 2 दे आर पॉजिटिवली हाइड्रोट्रोपिक and number 3 it is negatively phototropic now what is this tropism the word is tropism tropism is a movement a special movement of plants do remember two words something right it is special movement of plants towards specific stimuli or thing stimuli which which arose us to do something is stimuli so plant move towards something or uh to uh, extremely opposite towards opposite direction of something right so tropism can be of two type if they are two words then it is positive tropism and if it is against then it is negative so positive tropism or negative tropism two types of movement can be seen if you are attracted towards something it is positive tropism and if you are repelling from something then it is negative tropism sir even types of tropism are also based on this exactly this is type of tropism only what is 1 2 and 3 in front of you it is type of tropism for example tropism due to land it is geotropism it is going towards land that is why it is positive geotropic the tropism which is shown by or towards water it is hydrotropism it is going towards water that is it is positive trop, uh, hydrotropism tropism which is due to light phototropism it is going against right 
the not it is it is positive geotropism not negative tropism right of stem but if i am talking about a root system that not going towards the light it is going at the opposite direction of light i hope you are clear with that that is why it is indicated that phototropism is negative for root system so it is negative phototrophic movement what they have seen so these three terminologies are applied for the root based on their movement positive geotropic and positive hydrotropic as they are growing towards land and source of water and negative phototropic because they are uh, growing against the direction of light i hope you are clear with this yes sir yes sir great okay shall i erase it uh, sorry uh, please uh, you take the screenshot then i'll erase that fine can i ask one question please please you are sir what is tropotropism uh ask me again chromatotropism okay tomatotropism no tromatotropism tromato c h o t r hello sir i had written in you have written in <coughs> okay chat box tromatotropism okay tromatotropism is not the movement which is found in plant it is uh seen in humans uh humans when they have feared they are feared with the condition of getting uh, admitted in hospital or uh going into operation theater that is traumatotropy trauma ward jo hota hai na hospital mein we have fear uh, when we are getting admitted it is called traumatotropy so we are not likely to go towards them it is tromatotrophism ready it is shown by us not by plants yes <clears throat> fine uh one question was there okay sir ye lecture group mein send karoge yes i will send it into the group uh, youtube mein upload kar dunga main recording ho raha hai abhi don't worry about that you will can uh, you can get it on uh, youtube okay now the roots they have a particular region called root tip which is end part of root for example if i am talking we're talking about any of the root right root is uh, developed under the soil as if it is given here into the diagram ready so if you see in each branch at the end you have find uh, you can uh, you can see the end portion or end point of each branch it is called root tip ready it is called root tip the tip region the top region of each branch of any of the uh, root maybe primary maybe secondary or tertiary so in this slide you can see the structure of or parts of that root tip if i'm talking about the parts of the root tip the very first part of root the 
at the uh, at the extreme end it is having one cover if you see here and that cover is called cap of root that is root cap <coughs> root of any of the plant which is underground <coughs> which is burying the soil actually it is digging the soil and moving inside the soil so the end part actually is very soft i repeat the end portion is very soft and it has to uh, bury themselves into soil to avoid mechanical injury they are having this root cap under the root cap these root have a special types of tissue called meristematic tissue naam i think suna hoga ready it is meristematic tissue which is found inside the root cap in my standard we have learned about this the exactly so you have meristem under the root cap it is for the protection of meristem actually because meristem is a region which shows constant cell division which produces new cell <coughs> i repeat meristem is a region which which is having a special type of cell which are continuously dividing and producing new cells some of their new cells which are produced are going most of them are going towards upper portion of root very few cells are towards the lower portion lower portion <coughs> will be the self newly producing cells which are going towards downward direction they are converted into root cap and the newly producing cells which are going towards upper portion or upper part they are converted into various types of the tissues so many different types of tissues as and when they reach to the part they are converted into that type of tissue or that type of cells so the cell which is newly produced is undifferentiated undifferentiated but if they are going in a particular region these cells will be converted for a particular purpose particular type and particular cause so from undifferentiated they are converted into differentiated cells so meristem composed of undifferentiated cells which is also called stem cells naam suna hoga and they divide to form a particular tissue or differentiated cell from undifferentiated to differentiated and from this portion we are stopping our first lecture and we are further moving into the next discussion into the next lecture maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow so you are supposed to remind me the process of differentiation in the parts of root tip from there we are moving ahead with our next story is it clear sir i have doubt you are supposed to ask please sir yeah if 
differentiated and undifferentiated come sir uh, yes hai? yes abhi sir hai. differentiated or undifferentiated ka nahi samajh mein aaya mujhe no issue i will uh, give you the definition into the next uh, lecture into the beginning only you'll come to know now okay sir for example for example if a child is getting birth he is not a doctor he is not the engineer he is not a politician so it is zero but when he or she grows till for example 25 or 30 years he may be or she may be a doctor or engineer or politician or x y z based on the surrounding atmosphere it gets and whatsoever studies he made or she made so when he or she has got birth it is undifferentiated but with course of time whatsoever experience whatsoever learning he or she has got he or she is converted accordingly either into the doctor or into the nurse or into the engineer or into the cricketer or into the uh, singer etc then it is differentiated i hope you are clear now yes sir thank you fine uh, i'll see you later in the next period uh, anyone if you have doubt you can ask no sir no doubt fine no sir. done so i'll see you like fine i'll see you later into the next thank lecture thank you sir uh, you are thank you sir yes you are allowed to leave sir fine 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 ji yes beta fine i'm not listening uh, uh, properly uh, if you have a doubt you can if you have a doubt you can fine all right i'm uh, ending the session have a nice time and bye